you know, a lot of people think that, it, you know, if my mother had this and my father had this or, you know, grandparents, that they're destined to follow in line. But even if they're genetically predisposed to a condition, their lifestyle can change that and steer that away. Is that not correct? Absolutely true. Look at me. I'm going to be 87 in two months. <laughs> and I couldn't be healthier except this silly little cough. Mm -hmm. But yes, you, you can live a very long life. You don't have to. I always say, well, my mother and father, they were health addicts too. They died young at, in their 90s. I think they were, one was 95, one was 96, and you know why they died that young? They moved from their home in Indiana to North Carolina and stopped exercising. And that's why they died so young. I, I plan on living longer than that, even with COPD. <laughs> it's fun, I like life. Yeah. I take ballet every single day. Really? Great. And I take with the advanced ballet classes at the San Diego Ballet Company. It's okay. fun. You have to find something you like. Absolutely. You just tell people to exercise and they're going to go, oh, no. Well, you have to find something you really love. I used to think for a while there, um, I had moved. I kind of got out of the ballet habit. I was running the nutrition department over in Marina Del Rey at the great big circular building that um, all the wealthy people went there. Oh, I was in my element. This is really cool. And I can take aerobics every day. And so then I quit there because we moved. And I thought, oh, I got to continue to take aerobics. So I got all the equipment out. I got my video out. And I put it on to the TV and sat there and watched it. And then the second day I thought, okay, today I'll do it. And I sat there and watched it. After a week of watching it, I realized that I'm a brat. I need to be challenged and show off in a ballet class or any class where you're competing with the other person. And that's an example that you have to find something you love. And then once you put that into your schedule, just as though eating and sleeping, it's just as important as eating and sleeping is that exercise and once you've got it plugged in to the schedule and it's something you love you've got it made because I tell you you can eat all the right food and you can take meditation and you can do all of these things but if you didn't do exercise you'd have a huge gapping hole in that perfect picture of health and that it's not going to work Good. even people who are disabled they can bounce on a trampoline you know those little rebounders? Yep. And that moves the lymphatic system like crazy. It really good.